Just rank up there, Don. Yeah, that was a good one tonight. Uh, you know, I don't know if it's the best one since we've had here. We've, we've beaten some ranked teams, but uh, th this one was a really good win for us because I had a tired basketball team, and I thought my guys really, really uh, stepped up and, and, and played as hard as they possibly could with a lot of energy and a lot of grit. Uh, you know, you know, the difference in this basketball game is, is our effort on the boards tonight. Uh, you know, if you'd have told me we're going to out rebound by 17, I told you no way to start the game. And, and I thought really that was the difference in the basketball game. Don, two years ago we sat here and, and you just lamented the fact that you couldn't get that great crowd a win. Now, how does it feel knowing that you had a almost full house and, and you got them a win? I couldn't be happier for our players, you know, because one of the hardest things to do as a player is, is you know, we don't get crowds like that every night. And, um, you, you know, and to be able to go out and pay them back. Um, I know that was on their minds. I thought our guys did a great job of focusing, focusing in on the game plan. I thought they did a good job of not getting distracted by the big crowd. You know, and I thought we played a, a very, very good basketball game uh, from start to finish. You know, I thought a number of guys played very well. I thought Ty Aber rebounded the ball very well tonight. I thought he was a big difference. I thought our big guys, even though you look at the stat sheet and go, Gosh, they didn't weren't real effective. I thought they were very effective by keep keeping attacking the the rim, getting them in foul trouble, and and really keeping us with an aggressive hand all night long. And I, I thought that was the difference in the game. How about Perry and College? That you know, even against their bigs like Val Clifford, still goes to the basket. You know, almost yeah. as much as he's pulling up and shooting. I told you Perry was going to be the best guard in the league. He's going to be the best guard in this league. Uh, he's a good player. Uh, he's really coming into his own. He he played great tonight. Uh, he was real disappointed with the way he played at USC. Uh, and, 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 you know, bounce back with a heck of an effort. Perrion's a, a, a really good basketball player. He has been. Uh, you know, he's really matured since he's been here. He's done what he's supposed to do, excuse me, since he's been here. Um, you know, he, he didn't play much as a freshman. He was a reserve guy, but uh, he does what Vandals do. He, he, he's come to work every day since he's been here, and he's worked, and now he's getting his chance. He's taking advantage of it. I couldn't be happier for him. Saw Nick Blair come off the bench, meaningful minutes. You feel like he's he's... He's done what you're going to talk about, earning his way on those. Yeah, guys. yeah. Nick, Nick's getting better. Uh, he's been practicing hard. He he's uh, he's doing what he's supposed to. Nick's a fantastic athlete, and what we got to do is we you just got to learn the system and and keep doing what he's doing. You, you'll get you'll get to see Nick Blair a little bit more. Mark, uh, Mark, one for nine. Is that about the best one for nine performance you've ever seen? Yeah, I think so, Dale. That's a good way to put it. You know, I thought right from the opening tip, to, uh, right, right from the opening first play. You know, we called Ark's number. He went right at the big fella. Uh, I thought he just kept going. You know, and and, uh, and you know, like I said earlier, you, you look at uh, Ark's uh, stats, and he's uh, six points, one rebound, and I'm I'm praising him. But I but I thought Ark set a Ark and Ty and Nate and Deshaun set a tone around the basket tonight. Uh, that helped us throughout the game. So I know Washington State's uh, offense has generally been uh, known to be quick paced. Uh, I think I saw in the first half you guys really limited them. I think it was zero fast break points. Uh, what do you attribute to the success there? To our players executing the game plan. You know, uh, we knew we had to get back in transition. You, you know, I asked them for the game. Uh, what's what's three things we got to do tonight? And one, one thing was we got to get back in transition. And the other was rebound, and the last one was take care of our basketball. And we, we did we did a good job in all three of those areas. We did a great job spreading the court and not giving them easy baskets in transition. That was that was a big part of this game, also. Is, is Victor Sanders your your best perimeter defender in, in your mind? Oh, there's a number of good. Chris Sarbaugh's a really good perimeter defender, a really good health perimeter defender. Perrion's a good perimeter defender. Uh, you know, we're it, you look at the stat sheet tonight, and it didn't feel like they shot 53 percent. And 36 from three. Eight from three. Uh, I, I thought we had a better defensive performance tonight. But um, Vic's a good defender. Perrion's a good defender. We have a good. De we have a good defensive team this year. We really do, and it shows in our numbers. Can you describe how Sanders kind of turns things around, especially scoring 15 points in the second half compared to five in the first? Yeah, that's a good assessment there. You know, we knew they were going to guard the ball screens one way, and we were able to get Perry on some looks early. And, and then when they made the adjustments, we were able to roll Vic up, Vic up the backside, which we knew would be would be successful, and Vic knocked down the shot. So it just goes to us executing our offense properly. What are, the, what are those victor threes like uh, from a coach's perspective, letting the shot clock run down, kind of just hucks it up? Well, goes in. With the way he's been shooting it this year, and it's at the end of the clock, I, I want him shooting it. So, uh, you know, they, they stymied us a few times there, and Vic jumped up and made some big shots. And, you know, uh, players got to make plays. He made some tonight. Anything else for Coach?